No need to spend money on a YouTube sub counter. Make your own. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's Tony's Tuesday's tech tips, that's a lot of teas. I'm gonna show you how to make your own YouTube sub counter. Now there are many out there, some of them are quite expensive, and yes, they do count live, but I'm gonna show you how to do this one quick and easy. If you're new here, you haven't seen us before, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. If you've been here before, it's great to see you, and thanks for coming back. How did I make this? Well, I was about to throw this tablet out. It's an old tablet I got free with a mobile phone contract quite a few years ago. And I was about to throw it out when I had a little bit of a brainstorm. And all I did is in Canva or any type of graphic design tool, I made two photos. One with the subscribe now, one with the YouTube logo and my subscribe count as it stands today. I then put them on a memory card inside the tablet and I just have it on a slideshow flipping between the two photos. Before I make a video, I go on, I check my subscriber count, I adjust the photo, download it to the SD card and on it goes. I use Canva and I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, before you get onto the tablet, you need to go into Canva. Now I've got the pro version, but I'm pretty sure you can do all that in the non-paid version. I use a YouTube thumbnail as my template, uh, a blank one. And all I did to create mine, create the background, I just put a color behind it. If you then go into elements, go to search and search for YouTube. That's the beauty of Canva. If you search for any social media, you'll find all the icons. All I did is choose the icon, I pushed it in there. I made it as big as I could because it's only a small tablet and obviously it needs to be in the background. Get it centered and the text. Add a heading. Now I use my normal font that I use in my branding, which is Norwester. Check your sub count before you do this, obviously. Currently, plus five. And then just arrange it so, just arrange it so it's in the middle. You'll see it coming up. There's one page done. Then you just add another page, change the background of this change it to red and did the same again subscribe now let's make that bigger and make it as big as we can There's not much to it at all, just get it on, get it in the center, there we go. So there you go, you now have got two photos. Again, you could add three, you could add whatever you want, you add some branding for your own channel. Once it's done, download it, it will download it as a zip file. Once it's downloaded, extract it, extract your pictures, then stick them on the memory card. So I've now put the memory card into the tablet, and now go to File Explorer, look what's on the memory card, there's the photos, tap on a photo, that will bring the photo up, click on the three dots which is go to settings, click on the three dots, that will give me the options, click on slideshow, I choose fade, and click OK and away we go. There you go, it's quick and easy, it works, it does what it's meant to do and it hasn't cost me anything. In fact, it didn't cost me anything because I got the tablet for free. You can use a phone. There are apps out there that do count live, but they are full of ads and on a phone, it'd be quite small. That is a small tablet, but use what you've got. There are ways and means of getting your own YouTube sub count. Guys, I hope you liked that. I hope it was useful. If you liked it, please give me a like. Here's the subscribe button and here's a couple of videos that I think you might like. See you next week, guys.